Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Peace and Security Council has submitted an outstanding report, and I wanted to emphasize that Somalia is a great example of why we need to silence the guns, because with total stability, Somalia can be an enormous powerhouse playing a key role in the development of our Afri African continent. Given its vast resources, strategic location, and entrepreneurial people. However, Somalia has been fighting international terrorism with one arm tied behind its back. The UN arms embargo on Somalia is restricting our ability to acquire weapons necessary to defeat terrorists who are manufacturing homemade explosives for opportunistic attacks on innocent civilians and private businesses. The arms embargo may have been necessary in the past where Somalia was in turmoil, but today we are fighting against international terrorism. As part of our security transition plan, Somalia is committed to take full responsibility for its security from AMISOM, and this will require a better equipped Somali National Army able to respond to the threat. Transition plan requires reduction and drawdown of Amazon forces, but we need to have a clear action plan to rebuild Somali National Army to take over Amazon responsibility. We are always grateful for the Amazon sacrifices made, and their sacrifices will not go in vain. Excellencies, silencing the gun is a key priority for our continent and we must do everything to prioritize this at all levels. Africa is beautiful, endowed with resources, and has the greatest development potential among all continents today. Yet we will not and cannot realize the full potential of this great opportunity of ours as an African if we do not silence in the guns and work on the creation or create the conducive conditions for our people for our people's development. I thank you.